This is war chest. Now in war chest, you have to control these spaces on the board. Problem is, your opponent is trying to control spaces as well. Now the first person to get rid of all of their control markers wins. That easy. Except for the other person's also trying to place down their control markers. So it makes it a little more difficult. Now the way that you control these locations are with these big poker chips. And these represent your players. Like for example, here's the knight. And here's the scout. And these are the mercenaries. And these are the crossbowmen. And each one has a different ability. Now those abilities are outlined on their cards. The cards tell a player how a unit moves and how many of a particular unit there are, how many chips there are, and any special conditions. We have the cavalry where these guys are able to move then attack. We have the light cavalry which has five units and just makes two movements and no special attacks. Now a normal turn one token may move or it may attack. Tactics allow things like the crossbowman to attack two away. You choose your first player by flipping a coin. Okay. The wolf player is now first player and would choose the first unit. Second player chooses a unit. Then it goes back to the first player. They choose two. I'll choose two and then choose one and choose one. After you have all of the tokens, you grab your bag here and you grab two from each pile and place them in the bag along with your royal coin. Give the coin or bag a good shake and you draw out three and that's your starting hand. Keep these secret. Now in order to play on my turn, I place down one of the units on an area I control. And that's my turn. The other team would do the same and I would do so again. Now I can't move these unless I play a token of the same type. Well, the third option I have in my hand is the cavalry here. And so on my third turn, I'm going to place it face down and recruit a unit. Play goes back and forth until your hand is empty. And then you draw three new ones. There's my three new ones. Now, let's say I want to move this knight. I would then play that knight face up and move it one space. The other two part, uh, guy would go. I would pay or play one archer face up to move my archer. Other side would go. And then now I'm going to place down my royal guard. Okay? Hands empty. Draw three more. Okay? All right. So at my turn again, I want to take first player, so I'm going to play the royal coin here and take first player for next round. He cannot steal this back this round. I'm going to play this face down and recruit another archer. And then I will play this face up and move this guy. Now when there's nothing left in your bag, you pick up all of your tokens here, place them back into your bag, give it a good shake, and start again. 
Now obviously we're rotating plays between the two players here. So next up, I have this in my hand. Let's pretend this knight is on this location. In order to claim that spot to control it, I play this face down. You always play the matching symbol to activate it, if it's to move it, to attack it, or to claim a spot. Now, once all of my tokens are gone, I win the game. Or if the other team uh, just gives up because there's no way they can win. Um, this shaded side here is not used in a two-player game, but in a four-player game. See that little symbol right there? Shows another starting token here. And in a four-player game, you just rotate around the table, everyone playing their hands. And that's it. Um, really enjoy this game. There's a lot of strategy here. Um, I advise, uh, if you like a chess-like experience, um, Op 4, War Chest.